we are part of the body of Christ what we are what we do represents Christ himself you know Jesus in his entire life as well he knew when to pick his battles he knew who to entertain and who to ignore who to call out, out and bless and who to just let go and and be what they want to be he was careful of what he wanted to do he was careful on what he wanted to accomplish you know they came from a place to iconium and then in verse um Seven, they said. Uh, six, they said. They fled to Lystra and Derbe, the city of Laconia and the surrounding country. So they left Iconium and they went to another city. And you know what they did there? They continued to preach the gospel. So they were in a place carrying out the mandate of God. they went to another place to carry out the mandate of the lord and then they moved on to another place carrying out the mandate of the lord in all three places you know what was common the opposition that they faced and you know what was common among what they did they did not stop what they were doing they did not stop what they were doing in that place just because they faced opposition you know why because they were convinced that the opposition is not there to destroy them opposition is not there to destroy them but opposition exists there just because they have come into this place hmm the storm you know the the passage where jesus was uh when disciples went ahead on the boat and jesus was was coming late he said you go across and i'll come and then there was a storm suddenly the storm came in i don't believe that the storm was just a coincidence the storm existed there because those disciples came into that place The storm came into that place just because disciples existed in that place. People of God, let me tell you that a lot of times the opposition, the 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 constant nagging that you have that carries you from play that that follows you from one season to the that that always is around you with you that nagging is not the end it the nagging is not what you are called for but that will exist that will follow if you that will walk behind you just behind you and that will constantly keep nagging you but it's okay it does not have the power to overcome you but it is only there to expose you and to push you into the promotion into the next place that that opposition will only tell you will only be a reminder that listen you've got to move on to the next place god lets these things exist in your life god will let some of these oppositions exist in your life just so that you're reminded and you cannot be stuck you know otherwise there is these guys would have stuck in one place for longer duration and the other guys would have been I don't know they would have to wait until they had a visitation from God saying listen you've got to go to this place but this opposition only furthered the kingdom of God the opposition exists only to further the kingdom of God even though the enemy brings it to destroy you it will only further your mandate it will only increase your reach it will only expose you to greater things don't be afraid of what stands against you you always have a way out of it 
you always have a way out of what stands against you it cannot touch you hmm they knew their calling they knew their purpose they knew what they were made for and they never sold themselves short this is what uh, my father was teaching me last week don't sell yourself short we sell ourselves short god doesn't an enemy does not even dare to make that mistake we sell ourselves short of what we are made to do or made to be or called to be we've got to stop making that mistake again and again and again in our lives people of god there might be things that will nag you and they will continue to nag you but they have no power you you don't lose your focus on what you're called to do the 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 opposition the constant opposition will only push you into promotions into greater regions into greater purposes that god has kept for you they are not serving the enemy in opposing you they are serving god when they oppose you <laughs> even though that is meant to destroy you it will only promote you <laughs> disciples knew their mandate they knew their calling they had an understanding of what they are called to do it's time it's time it's time we remind ourselves or our own mandate of our own mandate over our lives we are apostolic people we are people of god who are called to be living a life that is bigger than what we have seen until now the promises of god over our lives are always a yes and amen but the question is are you looking at those promises or are you looking at the opposition that looks to devour you i really liked that was 7 and it says and there they continued to preach the gospel they continued in their anointing in their calling they continued there was nothing that they thought could overcome them it's not that these were uneducated people Paul was one of the most educated people of those times but he did not let his education his his worldly wisdom the whatever that he had learned about systems and the world around him he did not let that overcome what the spirit of god had put over his life he never sold the power of god less he did not consider the power of god any less than all the principalities over the land it's time people of god that we understand that as well it's time people of god that we walk in our mandate as well we walk in the fellowship that he, we have been given we walk in the understanding that we have we walk in the places that we have been given without being afraid it's time we become bold in our spirits and look at the opposition and and face it and say listen you have no power over me 
i know that you are just you know every time this opposition came in these guys did not reduce their boldness because they had seen something which was bigger brighter and stronger than their opposition it's time to walk in that understanding it's time to walk in that calling that we have it's time to walk in that calling that we have been given it's time to realize that the river the calling the stream that we are part of because of that you do not need to discount yourself because of that you do not need to sell yourself short because of that you don't need you don't have to listen to the worldly certificates that that try to undermine you know it's okay the opinions of people around you it does not matter in the spirit realm because we are people of the spirit we are people of the holy we are people of the kingdom of god and we will not let ourselves be determined by what goes around us thank you for watching the video we hope you were blessed do like share and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below god bless